So I think I might have accidentally created the Borg Collective, and I'm not sure that it's a bad thing. So for some context, if you're just uh, tuning in, I've been working on a project called the OpenAI uh, Autonomous Agent Swarm, or Haas, for Hierarchical Autonomous Agent Swarm. So basically, with the release of OpenAI's Agents Endpoint, or Assistance Endpoint, we realized it would be really easy to spin up an arbitrary number of agents. And so I created an open source project, and I've been using uh, daily YouTube videos as more or less kind of a scrum stand-up. Uh, but then the comments started getting really cool. Uh, someone said, the swarm is pleased by your videos. And then someone said, is that what the subscribers are being called nowadays, the swarm? And I said, the board collective approves. And someone says, thank you, Locutus. <laughs> There's a lot more comments like this, but uh, yeah. So hello, collective. Good morning. Uh, we are hard at work. So let me give you some updates in terms of what we're doing and what we've achieved. But first and foremost, the most important thing is I set out a bounty, so the bounties are, are put under issues, but I set out a bounty for someone to create a new chat GPT um, that specifically reads the discussions here so that you can talk with a chatbot. And someone delivered, so thank you, team. Uh, the collective approves. So here's the Haas board concierge, which you can get to it right here. So uh, I put it right at the top since it's super useful. And I just said, like, what's the latest set of tasks I can do? So... It gave it like literally just as like, okay, cool. This is what we can talk about. And I'll ask like, um, what are the latest uh, PRs? This, it's slow, but I think it'll get faster. So anyways, um, let's see what that says after a little bit. So we'll come back. But point being is that it's moving fast and there's a lot going on, but we have a tool that acts as an information concierge to the actual discussions. Okay, great. We'll delve into the discussions in just a second. But what I want to start with is the issues. So this system has worked really well where I'll just put out a bounty. Um, and I've closed a bunch of bounties that I realized were a little too ambitious. Um, but it's starting to really work. And so the first bounty of the day is proposed milestones, roadmap, and general principles. Um, so basically, I started with, okay, what is it that we're trying to build? So we're trying to build a mission-driven, hierarchical, autonomous agent swarm. It needs to be self-organizing, and we're realizing that's the hardest part. So I've got a few other uh, bounties that are around that. And then ideally, in the long run, as a stretch goal, it should be self-improving, which there's been a lot of conversation around that. But we need milestones and a roadmap. So we need, to, we need to get more organized around the general principles that we're discovering, so on and so forth. And, I, and to do that, I created a wiki. And I actually allowed for, uh, like, this is Wikipedia style. Um, anyone can, can create and edit. But I have a general principle. Um, wait, it looks like it didn't save the. Okay, I'll update this. I had I had a homepage that said uh, that we need to um, we need to uh, abide by some general principles. So I'll fix that. But anyways, I've documented the Chat GPT agents. So there's the the Haas board concierge, and then there's the first one that I built. Um, then oh, here's the homepage. This is supposed to be the homepage. Um, general rules and principles don't modify this page. Less is more and document hygiene. Um, and then finally, I put a, a placeholder for the roadmap. So uh, that's uh, how we're going to organize. So this is going to be, this is very similar to like the standard operating procedures that we should attach to all agents. So basically all agents in the autonomous swarm should have a standard set of documents that they that they can follow and abide by. So that is how you can ensure that the behavior of all the agents is at least somewhat aligned and so that they have some relative information. So we are the agent swarm and we are building the agent swarm. Great. It's <laughs> swarm inception, agent inception. So that's the first bounty. Um, another bounty is I'd like for the community to look at the recent pull requests and the current code base and the open pull requests and comment on them. Um, so there's a few things that, uh, that I, I was not quite so happy about with the current ones, I want to, so let me just say, I want to integrate all this code, um, but we need to make sure that we're adhering by uh, best practices and keeping the, the repo organized. Um, so that's first and foremost. I did merge the pull requests that, um, that, are, that are good. So uh, just test the code base. Let's make sure that it's working um, and share your results. Uh, that's what the discussions tab is for. People are using that uh, to great effect. Um, and then let's see, the next big thing is we realized that the uh, that the agent uh, communication is actually the hardest part. And I also had a meeting with the ACE framework team, which I'll talk about in just a second. Uh, but basically, like 
we can take inspiration from chat dev and autogen, but we really need to, to establish like the best practices and general principles for establishing agent to agent communication. And also one thing to keep in mind is that we are going to need to have multiple layers of communication, which actually, let me just go ahead and show you that in the wiki. Um, so in the roadmap, I had, I had, you know, my ideas like based on, based on some of the discussions. So I'm reading all the discussions, by the way. Um, what's kind of emerging is that it looks like we need kind of a global communication space for all agents to talk like on broadcast. So that'll be like an internal Twitter, um, which, you know, honestly, Pinecone would be good for that because then like all agents can search everything that is put on the global space and it's super fast and it's got metadata. So that's basically an internal Twitter. Um, and it's a, it's a third party API, which also means that it's arbitrarily accessible. Um, but uh, people are also talking about we need to document topics and it needs to be organized. So I think an internal Reddit kind of style thing would be really good for basically, you know, accumulating knowledge around specific topics. But again, that can be a third party API. So knowledge accumulation, topic management, and that sort of thing. But, you know, let's use the Reddit. And then we also need a real time uh, set of chat channels such as Discord, which could also be an external third party kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so... I think these three like styles of communication should all be used eventually, um, but obviously we're very early. So hence this, um, hence this uh, bounty, which is um, talking about multi-agent. Like we need to start with the basics because we as humans know how to use Twitter, Reddit, and Discord. But now we need to make we need to make sure that we can build agents that can use those communication platforms as well. Um, and I think between the three of those, there's enough differences, like structural differences in terms of strengths and weaknesses, that um, that could ho probably hopefully solve uh, swarm self organization because that's going to be a that's, that's a tough nut to crack. Um, and then finally, I have one final um, PR just to organize the repo. Uh, that's the those are the issues of the day. Uh, I'm not going to go over the pull request. Um, you can check these out; uh, they're up there. But what I will say is, check the closed issues and check the closed pull requests as well, just so you can see what has been changed. This is going to be one of the easiest ways to get up to speed because ultimately the discussions are there as part of the conversation, but the ultimate source of truth is going to be the issues, the pull requests, and the wiki. Um, the discussions are there for kind of getting the community to churn. Um, I did update some of the pinned conversations, so check these out. I've got a, um, I've got a welcome message. We have our first uh, contributor. This is a member from the ACE Framework team. So um, he's a, set as a collaborator. So welcome, Guillermo. He's been uh, really, really heads down on this and just super involved um, and has had some really good ideas. Um, so I've got some help now. Um, let's see. I guess uh, the last thing is, like, let's go over some of the top discussions. Um, so this one is what I showed yesterday. There's been a lot of discussions on uh, the agent relation and communication architecture. So this is this is really good. There's been there's been a lot more conversation, um, and actually that conversation was what kind of inspired me to say, "Looks like we need a Twitter, a Reddit, and a Discord." Um, let's see. This thread was really cool. So we're getting to the point where the tools are generalizing, and we're getting where it can it can set up its own tool chains. Is the very short version. So if if we have agents that can build tools, like build arbitrary tools and then chain them together, like this is what I mean by creating a swarm that can build whatever it needs. Um, so self-improvement at a certain level looks like it's eminently possible. So ch definitely check out this thread. I'm, uh, yes, I pinned it. I pinned it uh, so that'll be easier to find. Tool builder interacting with the real world, incredible behavior. Definitely check this out. This is going to be a critical insight. And this, this post also serves as a really great example as to how you can contribute back to the community. Even if all you do is an experiment on your own, by, by going off on your own, either in your own repo or your own fork or just locally, and then, and then sharing what you've done, share the code too, like a link to your code or a, or a GitHub gist, um, that will help integrate. And the, uh, the collective's intelligence, our collective intelligence will go up um, in order uh, in, if you do these kinds of things. Yeah, and there's lots of good conversation around this. Um, I think those are the two biggest things today. So if you want to stop watching now, that's fine. But um, let's see. There was a couple other things, I think. Actually, maybe that was it. Um, there's been a lot of other, uh, other good conversations and questions. So for instance, does you know, agent generator need to be top of the hierarchy? 
That was good. Oh, this was another one. This was, uh, will, will multi-agent communication become the new prompt engineering? And so basically this is, by reading all these conversations, I realized that, okay, here's the kinds of communication channels we need. Anyways, um, thanks for jumping in, everyone. Uh, <laughs> Locutus has spoken. Go forth and assimilate all useful technological uh, distinctiveness. Um, yeah, have a good one.